This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. And good morning, everybody. I'm Chris Tatum with your NBC Region 33 News Brief for this Wednesday. A massive manhunt is over and a suspected killer in jail this morning in Yazoo County. Investigators arrested 36-year-old Johnny Mac Brown yesterday. They charged him with capital murder, conspiracy to commit capital murder, armed robbery, and with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation launched that manhunt Monday after agents linked Brown and his wife to uh, his wife, by the way, 27-year-old Shantina Brown, to a 2013 murder. That's when investigators believe the couple shot and killed 57-year-old Ricky Saxton in a remote field in Yazoo County. You saw his picture up there just a moment ago. Now, Shantina Brown is already in jail. She's charged with capital murder, conspiracy to commit capital murder, armed robbery, and conspiracy to commit armed robbery. A judge refused to set bond for either of the Browns. A man's in the Sunflower County Jail this morning accused of having sex with a 13-year-old girl, and deputies say that's been going on for more than a year. They arrested 35-year-old Derek Thompson on Friday. They charged him with statutory rape. They say someone tipped them off about that sexual relationship, and they expect to charge more people as they broaden their investigation. A judge set Thompson's bond at a half million dollars. Well, also in Sunflower County, another man's in jail after deputies say he shot a man. They charged 57-year-old Samuel Kane with aggravated assault. They believe he and the victim, 40-year-old Dirk Simpson, argued before that shooting happened. It happened just after 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon at Kane's home on Harper Road. Deputies believe the, uh, that at least one of those men may have been drinking before that shooting. A judge set Kane's bond at $5,000. And a Greenville teenager is facing some serious grown-up charges this morning. Police say he robbed and tried to kill a local grocery store owner. They arrested 17-year-old Kareem Berkeley yesterday morning and charged him as an adult with armed robbery and with attempted murder. Police say Berkeley went to Ming Sang grocery store around 5 o'clock Monday evening and that he told the owner he wanted a particular piece of meat. But when the owner went to get that piece of meat, police say Berkeley hit him several times in the back of the head, grabbed his keys to the store, and ran away. Now, they won't say what they believe Berkeley struck the man with, but when the police arrested Berkeley, they say they found several items from the store. Berkeley will make his first court appearance uh, actually later today. The owner of that store, by the way, is already out of jail. And that is your NBC Region 33 News Brief for this Wednesday morning. Hope you have a great day, everybody. This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief.